what gets us into trouble is not what we don't know, it's what we know for sure that just ain't so. part of the Earth's ecological system is the atmosphere by all of the global warming pollution that's being put up there. And what that does is it thickens this layer of atmosphere. More of the outgoing infrared is trapped. And so the atmosphere heats up worldwide. That's global warming. Keep that in mind when you look at this fact. Carbon dioxide having never gone above 300 parts per million, here is where CO2 is now. Within less than 50 years, it'll be here. This much on the cold side is a mile of ice over our heads. What would that much on the warm side be? Ultimately, this is really not a political issue so much as a, a moral issue. If we allow that to happen, it is deeply unethical. Mount Kilimanjaro more than 30 years ago and more recently. And a friend of mine just came back from Kilimanjaro with a picture he took a couple months ago. 75 years ago in Patagonia on the tip of South America, this vast expanse of ice is now gone. There's a message in this. It is worldwide. And the ice has stories to tell us. When the snow falls, it traps little bubbles of atmosphere, and they can go in and measure how much CO2 was in the atmosphere the year that that snow fell. What's even more interesting, I think, is they can measure the different isotopes of oxygen and figure out a very precise thermometer and tell you what the temperature was the year that uh, that bubble was trapped in the snow as it fell. And of course, when the oceans get warmer, that causes stronger storms. We have seen uh, in the last couple of years a lot of big hurricanes. Hurricane Jean, Francis, and Ivan uh, were among them. And then, of course, came Katrina. It's worth remembering that when it hit Florida, it was a Category 1. But it killed a lot of people and caused billions of dollars worth of damage. And then, what happened? Before it hit New Orleans, it went over warmer waters. As the water temperature increases, the wind velocity increases and the moisture content increases. And you'll see Hurricane Katrina form over Florida. And then as it comes into the Gulf over that warm water, it picks up that energy and gets stronger and stronger and stronger. Look at that hurricane's eye. And of course, the, the consequences were so horrendous. There are no words uh, to describe it. In 1992, they measured this amount of melting in green. Ten years later, this is what happened. And here's the melting from 2005. If Greenland broke up and melted, or if half of Greenland and half of West Antarctica broke up and melted, this is what would happen to the sea level in Florida. This is what would happen to San Francisco Bay. A lot of people live in these areas. The Netherlands, one of the low countries, absolutely devastating. The area around Beijing that's home to tens of millions of people. Even worse, in the area around Shanghai, there are 40 million people. Worse still, Calcutta and to the east Bangladesh, the area covered includes 60 million people. Think of the impact of a couple hundred thousand refugees when they're displaced by an environmental event. And then imagine the impact of a hundred million or more. 
Is it possible that we should prepare against other threats besides terrorists? Maybe we should be concerned about other problems as well. What is at stake our ability to live on planet Earth, to have a future as a civilization? I believe this is a moral issue. It is your time to seize this issue. It is our time to rise again to secure our future.